Hey guys, welcome to Redeemed Advice. So we have another question and I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. It says, hi, I was raised in an atheist family but I never really shared the belief with them. For a year now, I have found a religion that really makes sense to me. I believe in what the Bible says and want to apply its teachings to my life. However, my mother and grandmother, two people that mean so much to me, do not approve. They say that I have been brainwashed. I am only 18 years old and I'm looking for a job. I don't know what to do. So what do you guys think of this question? Well, well, I can relate to that because I'm Christian. My, my parents aren't. They are Catholic and it's really hard you know, to live in a home where you don't have the same beliefs or different religions. It's really difficult because you know, my mom tells me, oh, you dress like a old lady, like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, it's just me, you know, like, it's my, it's my des decision, you know, it's my choice because God put me some, he put something in my heart, you know, to change. I know it's really difficult to live in that, in that home. Just like pray, you know, and like have faith that, you know, God might change their hearts. Like, you never know what God has in store for you maybe you're there for a purpose to tell to tell them the truth and show them who god really is and show them the name the true the true name the true belief okay i like what you what you said about uh, being there for a purpose i think that we as christians we have a we're supposed to be we're called to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth so you have a purpose in being there with your family even though they don't believe in that god is you're supposed to testify whatever of what the Lord has done in your life. Amen. Because um, He has a purpose for everyone and every one of us, Amen. including you. So uh, be, a, be a testimony for them. Uh, you're a witness of what God can do. Uh, so don't be quiet of what you have seen and, and heard. Uh, we're, we're special for God. Remember Amen. that. So yeah. um, be the light. Be the light. Be in your the house. light, exactly. If they don't believe in God, well, you show them who God is because you have His presence in your heart. Amen. So, and, what do you think, baby? Well, honestly, I admire you a lot for taking the decision. It's not easy. Being the only one in a house with a different belief, religion can be a very complicated topic. Amen. And I actually admire that of you a lot. Keep on going. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, live your life. You know, don't let anyone tell you what to believe in and also respect their beliefs because, you know, the same way that they have to respect your beliefs, show them that you also respect their beliefs, but pray for them and yeah. maybe God can make a miracle in their lives. So you can be the way for them to, you know, realize that there is a God out there. But, you know, live your life and don't care so much. Don't worry about what everybody has to say. Pray about it and God will give you the answers that you need. Amen. And, so, and just keep going on, you know. Yeah, keep on fighting. If, no matter the, what the circumstances are, yeah. you need to keep on moving forward. And yeah. sometimes and I think she mentioned she mentioned that um, her her mom and her grandma are very important to her, and that they didn't approve. So that you know can also be hard. But in the Bible, it also says that even if you know your mom and your dad leave you with everything, God will pick you up. Exactly, and it also right. says that whoever doesn't love me more than his parents is not family. worthy. It's yeah. not, it's not, not worthy, worthy of me. Okay, you need to love God above all things uh, and keep on fighting. Sometimes you're gonna feel like a spiritual presence in, in your house, like spiritual pressure. When you come from church, from a service, feeling the presence of, of, of the Lord, and you're gonna come home and you're gonna feel that presence, but that pressure maybe from the enemy, because they don't believe in, in, in God and, and but but you need to fight you need to persevere because the bible says that whoever perseveres till the end will be saved i hope that you know our advice helped you yeah. you know just persevere and keep living your life and praying to god and if any one of you guys are going through a situation please comment below tell us you know what your problem is send us an email if you want to get advice and remember that heaven is for the brave amen heaven is for the brave amen so thank you guys for watching. Thank Please you. like and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye.